We all learn how to respect the science of flavors, but what can't be taught is um, the joy that comes from creation. Um, creativity has to flow from you and you have to be brave with it. You have to be willing to be bold, um, to put your uh, passion into what you design, to have purpose in the raw materials that you're utilizing. That's what's special. It's the joy, the energy, and the passion you put into your designs at the end of the day. Uh, you need a passion for taste. Uh, you need the knowledge of the raw materials. Um, you need to create the, the perfect balance, whether that's creating an authentic strawberry or a new fantasy fusion. You really can't teach someone to want to be a discoverer. Um, when, you, when you plot your own course, it's a lot more challenging. It's one thing to go down a, a plotted territory in a course where you, you know where you're going and you just have to follow the way. We're really creating our own way forward. And through that, we're going to make mistakes. We're going to have challenges. We may have setbacks. But that overall uh, feeling of accomplishment when we've achieved our goal is something that, that uh, is unmatched. And uh, so for me, that's the part about being a flavorist that you can't teach. As I evolve as a person, as a flavorist, my creations will evolve with me. So what I made 10 years ago versus what I could make today or 10 years from now would be completely different. So it's me in real time.